Hello, we are discussing about GATE 1991 ECE paper and the topic we are discussing is electronic devices. This is fourth one more question came in GATE 1991. The question is based on this diagram. First look at this diagram. Referring to the diagram, the switch S is in position 1 initially and steady state conditions exist from time t is equal to 0 to t is equal to t naught. The switch is suddenly thrown into position 2. The current flowing through the 10 kilo ohm resistor as a function of time from t is equal to 0 is. You must draw along with magnitudes. The current waveform you must draw along with current along with magnitudes at t is equal to 0, at t is equal to t naught, at t is equal to infinite. There is no options for this question. Directly we will solve this question. This question is related to diode switching times. Diode switching times is a case when a diode is going to be switching from forward to reverse instantaneously or reverse bias to forward bias instantaneously. From this diagram we can say that one initially the diode is under forward bias because initially the switch is connected with plus 12 plus 20 volts plus 20 volts we are connecting towards p side of the diode that makes the diode to go into forward bias so initially the diode is under forward bias later at a time t is equal to t naught the switch is suddenly changed to minus 20 volts minus 20 volts we are connecting to p side of the diode that makes the diode to go for the reverse bias so a transition is taking place from forward bias to reverse bias by that time how much is the current flowing through the resistor we must draw the current waveform which is flowing through 10 kilo ohms from forward bias to reverse bias transition now we'll see this one diode switching times when diode is instantaneously switched from a conduction state to non-conduction state that is forward bias to reverse bias it needs some time to return to non-conduction state that is reverse bias meanwhile the diode behaves as short circuit for a little time even in reverse direction this occurs due to accumulation of stored excess minority carrier charge when the diode is forward biased diode switching characteristics there are two different types of switching times available one is reverse recovery time the other is forward recovery time reverse recovery time is the time required for the diode to come from forward bias to reverse bias whereas forward recovery time is the time required for the diode to change from reverse bias to forward bias this question is related to reverse recovery time because initially the diode is under forward bias later it is coming towards reverse bias so reverse recovery time is the time required to return back to the state of non-conduction that is reverse bias which is the sum of storage time and transition time whenever a diode is switching from conduction state to non-conduction state that is forward bias to reverse bias it doesn't take place instantaneously it requires some amount of time that time is called as reverse recovery time it is sum of two different times one is storage time the other is transition time we know that one in the diode there will be a very large number of excess minority carriers will be stored under forward bias when it is in steady state so to make the diode to go towards reverse bias first step we must remove that excess minority carrier charge so that it comes into the open circuit condition later it comes into the reverse bias condition after some more time so there are two things has to be happen first one is removal of excess minority carriers second one is making the reverse bias to achieve the steady state condition so these two cases these two things are going to be classified as two different times one is storage time storage time is the time required for the diode to 
remove that excess minority charge carriers. During this time, the diode conducts heavily. During this time, the diode conducts heavily even though diode is under reverse bias. But the direction of current is always from N to P during this point. Second case, transition time is the time elapsed to returning back to the reverse bias of non-conduction. Returning back to the state of non-conduction that is reverse bias. So reverse recovery time is sum of storage time and transition time. During storage time diode conducts heavily and after that one diode's conduction is going to be reduced towards reverse saturation current practically. Now we will draw the graph for this one. This is the diagram. For 0 to T naught, the time between 0 to T naught input voltage the switch is connecting towards plus 20 volts that makes diode to comes into the forward bias and steady state condition has been achieved the maximum current during steady state i is equal to v input by r since no forward resistance of the diode is given so v input by r is nothing but 20 by 10 10 kilo ohms that is nothing but 2 milliampers since the power supply diode and resistor all are in series assume the diode is ideal because rf is not given so current flowing through the diode which is also flowing through 10 kilo ohm resistor the value for that one is v in by r 20 by 10 kilo ohms that is 2 milliampers so this is what the red line that implies the value is 2 milliampers till t naught by the time diode is forward bias next at t is equal to t naught the switch is suddenly changed to minus 20 volts so from that point onwards v input is minus 20 volts that is for t greater than t naught input value is going to be minus 20 volts that will make the diode to go into reverse bias during reverse bias there are two different times are existing one is storage time the other is transition time so from t naught towards storage time that is when the time is in between t naught and t naught plus ts ts is nothing but storage time during that time diode conducts heavily but the direction of current is nothing but from n to p so this magnitude of current can be calculated as vr by r vr is nothing but reverse voltage is minus 20 volts divided by r is 10 kilo ohms so the value of this current is minus 2 milliampers so that is what shown with blue color so this is minus 2 milliampers till t naught plus ts i think you have observed this is t naught plus ts so till storage time completes after this one the diode is try to come towards steady state situation under reverse bias so that is time required for the transition so during transition time that is time is in between t naught plus ts to t naught plus ts plus tt during this time diode current reduces exponentially towards i naught so the value at the end of transition time is equal to minus i naught for t greater than t naught plus ts plus tt steady state reached with current as minus i naught so that can be written as this one so this is a final diagram when the input for the diode is switching from plus 20 volts to minus 20 volts at t is equal to t naught thank you